<laughs> hey guys. Um, I look like shit because I've not slept in like two days and then I finally got a little bit of sleep. And have you ever had those like odd thoughts in your half garnet? just before you crash out you're on this odd state of awareness if that's the term and I was laying in bed and then I thought to myself now <laughs> this isn't exactly the average thought that most people have before they go to bed unless they're a bit of a weird person and I admit I am a weird person so this thought came to mind and I'm laying there and I thought to myself I've just figured out why we can't time travel <laughs> and I thought to myself it, it's in my noggin I'll do a video about it when I wake up because I was that tired I haven't slept in like two days three days I've recently got some good news and that in combination with my new medication for my anger management and whatnot, one of the side effects is insomnia and so yeah joy so with that said um, <laughs> I'll explain to you why we can't do time travel and I'll put it in layman's terms so you all can follow along Thank you, Compressor. Currently, it's not like we don't understand how linear time works. Linear is time from A to B. Okay, so this is A, this is B. Okay, tick follows tock. That's linear time. Okay, you were born 1979, and you're plodding along through your linear time. Okay, you're just plodding along in your linear time. Then you've got what's known as curvature time. Now, curvature time comes from the term GM. It's where we get the whole Greenwich Mean Time from. This is what people don't seem to understand. They're like, why is England like telling everyone what their time is? Well, England is positioned just the right angle on the curvature of the earth sorry flat earthers the earth is fucking round ish that when the sun hits it it is a stagnant point this is why if you look at sundials the shadow always will tell you the time of the day it never needs correcting you don't have to put an hour ahead or an hour behind that shit came around from the fact that people just didn't want to add an extra day to the to the cap to the calendar each year because if you just Google that shit. Anyway, I'll get to the time travel part. Now, if we had somehow a ZPM or a zero point module or a form of energy that we could use that energy, because it takes a lot of fucking energy, by the way. Have I not mentioned this? We're talking trillions of gigawatts. Not billions, not millions, trillions of gigawatts. You could build nothing but nuclear power plants f across the whole of Indochina and Mongolia and daisy chain them all up, huge AAA batteries, and you still wouldn't scratch the surface of the amount of energy that is required okay now why because atoms have anchor points now each one of your atoms has a frequency that it vibrates at this is what most people don't seem to understand okay this is why certain frequencies sh humans should not be around because yes even cancer cells respond to frequencies this is why 2.4 gigahertz or 5. Point whatever gigahertz from a microwave will fucking kill you how do you think a microwave works? It physically, using sound and a few other things, vibrates your food 
and in that vibration generates heat hence it cooks the food so we understand that atoms have their own frequency and that that frequency does not change so the frequency for my liver could be the same frequency for your eyeballs we just don't know each frequency each, each human being has its own unique frequency your fingerprint if you will chemically speaking yet the bigger the mass i.e. if we take a baby and send it back in time it takes less energy because it's less mass so the less mass the easier it would be in many retrospects when you in, in Star Trek case in point when in Star Trek any ship goes to warp they're time traveling most people don't understand that but they're time traveling another thing when they transport each other up and down you know map you know, take themselves dematerialize themselves into into atoms or matter put it for a computer that computer then 3d prints them that's what it is you're being reconstituted through 3d printing through the buffer i.e the mass buffer i.e and i hate to break your reality of star trek but if you've ever seen someone beam in beam out they're made of shit so is the food they eat they don't discrete any waste your water your, your alcoholic drinks that you drink at 10 forward reconstituted urine the food reconstituted fecal matter so the same as when you get disintegrated you're literally disintegrated your atoms scattered to the wind and then you're reconstituted somewhere else now problem with that is that new reconstituted you, in reality, would have no conscious idea of who they are. Their rank, anything. They would have none of that. That part of the technology, we haven't managed to figure out yet. But if we did, transporters would be a thing. But in the Star Trek universe, why doesn't they have a matter buffer? That's all I'm going to say. So technically, your favorite captain is full of shit. Now, realistic time travel. How is it possible? It's called, <laughs> I, I've called it curvature consciousness. Now what that means, or CC for short, what that means is we know for a fact that when a human being dies at the point of death, they actually lose weight. And it's not like a, 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 a tremendous amount. It's not like a guy who weighs nine metric tons when he dies becomes one metric ton that's not what i'm talking about what i'm talking about is we've actually managed to calculate the weight of a human soul or what we believe to be the human soul or the consciousness if you will well if our consciousness has weight it has matter and if it has matter it can be manipulated by energy there's the old phrase deja vu now, deja vu is usually skipped off as, as an old wives' tale kind of thing. But how many times, even people watching this video, how many times have you gone somewhere and gone, whoa, whoa, that used to be over there, and that used to be over there, and that, there used to be a door over there. You have like, this weird feeling that you've been in this building before, but you've never been there in your life. I know I did the day I moved to Utah and I, I got past my jet lag in like a week or so and I started to explore the little town I was living in and my then girlfriend now ex-wife who was with me I said to her that used to be a fire station she's like yeah how did you know I'm like Johnny so and so and she's like how the fuck do you know him I'm like I don't know I just look at the building and I remember and she's like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm like, yeah, the, the, the plot that the arena was built on, that was a... Uh, yada, yada. And I, to the point where we ended up going to the, the city and pulling up old plans, and I was right on everything. It scared the shit out of my ex-wife. And she's like, how the fuck do you know this? I was like, I just do. 
and then I got a hair up my bum about going to a part in the desert that I'd never been to, that my ex-wife only ever used to just drive by, because out in south, southern Utah, it's not a redneck thing, it's just the thing we do lo locally. We will go out there, have a few beers, and fuck around with shotguns, you know, and just like shoot at targets and stuff, you know, make our own redneck target ranges. And there's one in particular, one spot in particular, it's called the pond or the duck pond. If you're from that area, you know what I'm talking about. And I said, you know, I want, I want to put something to test. She's like, what's that? And I goes, come with me. So I took my 86 Ford Bronco, my, my eggshell white Bronco. Everyone remembers that Bronco because I thought it was OJ Simpson's Bronco. And I was like, no, that's a 90s Bronco. This is an 80s Bronco. This will beat the piss out of that 90s piece of shit. Anyway, um, took it out to, to this part in the duck pond, got out. And I just started walking. And I walked for about, God, it must have been 20, 25, 30 minutes. Got to a spot where there's a little collection of rocks. And I started counting steps. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm testing something. And I took the shovel and I stuck it in the ground. And I started digging and digging and digging and digging and digging. And lo and fucking behold, dink, I hit it. And I stopped and I started laughing. She goes, what is so funny? And I pull out this little tiny wooden and metal chest. I wouldn't say it's a treasure chest. And I looked at her and said, I don't have the key to that anymore. The key went bye-bye, but I know what's in that. And she goes, how, what? I goes, you're going to find letters. You're going to find photographs if they haven't disintegrated. Because back then, the paper that was used for photographs used to if the acid wasn't washed out correctly would disintegrate would break down and i said and there's also going to be a hand wooden carved toy horse with the initials l j p on it and she thought oh, you're full of shit can't be you, you, you've made all this up i'm like i haven't so we carefully get the lock off I open it up and inside is this wooden hand carved horse. I don't have it anymore, but it was there with the initials and there was photographs of this young man who looked just like me, no joke, only his beard was a bit more fuller. Had my eyes, my, my, my bridge, everything else just looked a little bit more filler, fuller and he was married to a more huskier woman, rotund. She was fat, okay? And they owned a local speakeasy, a bar, a saloon, if you will, that had burnt down to the ground hundreds of years, hundreds of years before I've even was even born in my dad's nutsack. But I remember, I even remember the smell of the burning wood. And I even took her to the exact spot. And again, we went back to the hit the the, the cities because the city in Castledale. In, in Huntington and, and, and whatnot, they have all the history building markers and they said yeah there used to be a small little mining town out there for the copper mine and then when the mine got shut down everyone started leaving and they were the last to leave and because they refused to leave because locals wanted to buy the land up turn it into farming they burnt the, the, the building down they didn't, you know typical you know redneck justice and didn't realize that the couple were still inside the building and they burnt they, they, they burnt alive. That's where I died. I literally walked over my own grave. And that's when it hit me. When I remembered all of that. Just before I was about to go to sleep, I remembered all of it and I was like, that's how we time travel. We send our consciousness back into the past because that's the only way we could do that without it manipulating a timeline if you wanted to observe basically you would go back to your ancestors and you'd be in their head right behind their eyes that would explain quite a lot of mental health issues actually back in the past of split personalities we've already done it we just don't realise it Maybe, possibly, who knows? It would explain why people can have vivid 
detailed and write every detail down as if they were right there when it happened. Think about it for a second. Think, 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 Umi, think. Now, would that not be more obtainable? Is the word I was looking for. Instead of sending a physical mass, instead of sending this back, which then would start a branch timeline. Again, you've got paradoxes, you've got branch timelines, you've got so many different. Again, if I was to truly un explain time relativity and, and and to you, you'd lose your you'd lose your mind. I I almost lost my mind learning it about it when I was in. Look, look. Point is, okay. That thought alone is sending your subconscious self back through time. Not to warn anyone or anything, because you won't be able to do that. That's what I'm saying. What I'm saying to you is, is I won't say you're possessing someone's body. Like, you know, even then, that would explain certain po demonic possessions. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is, you can go back as a observer. You can only see through their eyes. You can only hear through their ears. You can only speak through their mouth, but you can't speak at all. This is what I'm saying to you. You can't talk. You're hearing them talk. You're hearing them listen. You're seeing what they see. Even, sadly, up until the point of their demise. That is the only way we could actually technically time travel and not actually impact or affect our current timeline or cause a branched timeline to start. Is there anything that makes sense? And now I've said that, it's food for thought. Because think about it, how many times has you yourself had deja vu? Or you've gone somewhere that you've never been, but yet for some reason you know the places. You know what to order. You've never ate at that restaurant. Or you know what to drink and you've never drank at that establishment. You just know. You just innately know. It's like in, like in the back of your head, you just know. How do you know it's not happening to you right now? And no, I'm not being a conspiracy theorist. I'm not saying, oh, you're being possessed. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm not even calling it possession. This is the thing. I'm not even calling it that. What I am calling it is basically a subconscious loan, if you will. You're loaning your ancestors' mind, body, so that you can hitch a ride and study and learn. And at the same time, not impact that history so that you were never born. If you think about it. Phys physics wise, it's possible. It's doable. matter wise it's possible because you're not creating new matter see when you time travel you're technically creating new matter at that point of time that's what causes the branch because you cannot create or destroy matter without it affecting other matter the best way to explain how matter works is matter is like a huge uh, uh, lake a still lake so there's no waves there's no ripples it's just what one huge a bathtub but yeah a bathtub a huge beer claw bathtub it's full of water taps not dripping there's no nothing the water is not rippling it's perfectly still and stagnant and yet if you put your finger on one end of the, uh, uh, of the bathtub and then take it out you're going to get a ripple that goes right across the water yeah eventually the ripple stops because it loses its kinetic energy it loses its matter but the point is if you send something back in time that's physical, doesn't matter what it is, that's what that does. It causes a ripple effect. And in that ripple effect, we'll branch off and create a whole new parallel universe. This is when people say, oh, you do realize there's a parallel universe where I'm a girl and you, my daughter, are my son. You know what I mean? Because technically, there is. That being said, 
that's a bit narcissistic because if you if you let me explain if I think that if I again thank you phone if I think that there is a parallel universe solely wrapped around my existence and my actions that is a bit fucking narcissistic so I think that yes there are universal constants which happen in every universe and yes I do believe in parallel universes but I believe that there is a universal constant that happens in every fucking universe like the Twin Towers like um certain people dying like bin laden hitler um things of that nature i believe that those are fundamental anchors in those universes okay and that's what causes another universe to exist or split because someone put their finger in 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 the bathtub but if you send something intangible that's what i mean intangible if you send your consciousness back and it becomes someone's subconscious and you're not sending any matter back yet all you've done is take your finger and put it in the water you haven't pulled it out yet therefore there's no ripple and so when you do take your finger out and your subconscious comes back to you it goes back into the pot in back into the bathtub and doing so causes that ripple to stop immediately but what do i know think about it for a minute though just just think for a second Bleep, bleep, your well, your thoughts on what I just said in the comment section down below. I read it. I do. I do. If you're new around here, give the video a like. I greatly appreciate it. And a subscribe. Again, I'm trying to get to 600 subscribers. That's my goal. It'll be the most subscribers I've ever had on any of my YouTube channels. And if I can reach that goal, I will be immensely happy. You have no idea, guys. It will mean the world to me. And uh, hopefully I'll see you over on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash aces and eights. Um, link will be in the video description. It'll be in the pinned comments as well. And uh, yeah, so this coffee is done. Therefore, video is done. So yeah, I kind of just figured out. What to, I just kind of just figured out how to do time travel. You're welcome, NASA.